Hey, what's up everybody? This is Joshua Casper. I'm here with Plug and Boutique and today we're taking a look at the Smart EQ by Sonable. The Smart EQ is an 8-band EQ, but what sets it apart is the quote-unquote smart filters. The smart filters are these four filters here in the middle. You'll notice they're a little bit different than the other ones in that they have the magic wand, similar to like the Photoshop magic wand tool, if you will. So what I figured we'd do in this tutorial is try to clean up a not so well mixed track. I've got this reggae track back here. If we play it, So to me, the, the low end seems a bit boomy and the high end isn't quite crispy enough for my taste. So what I'm going to do is use some of these smart EQs to see if we can't get it to sound a little bit better. And the way you do that is you click the wand, which activates the smart EQ, and then you need to run the audio. So you want to make sure the audio is playing so it can analyze the audio that's being fed into it. And if you're using this on a big track as opposed to just a loop, you want to use it on the part that's kind of representative of the mix entirely. So, uh, you know, like maybe the drop in your EDM track or something like that. Let's go ahead and run it and see what happens. Okay, and now you can see that after it did some processing, we now have a check mark, meaning it's done the analysis it needed to figure out what should be boosted or attenuated in the mix being fed into it. And if you pull it up, you can use the percentage here. You can also move uh, the position. So like I said, the low end is a little bit boomy for me. So I'm going to go ahead and play this and see if I can't dial in these parameters to get that boom to go away. So that's pretty good, the boom has gone away, but what I'm gonna do is activate another one of these smart EQs to see if I can't bring back some of the punchiness in this range between 50 and 200 hertz. Cool. And the next thing we can do is come over to this higher end of the spectrum and see if we can't get some of that sparkle going on. Okay, so the Smart EQ doesn't agree with me about the higher end of the spectrum. It's got a couple of nice uh, curves right here, but over here where I think it should be boosted, it's really attenuating those. So what I could do is just use a regular uh, filter over here and just kind of pull it up like that. And that will give me the curve I'm looking for at the higher end of the spectrum. Another parameter we can use too is the smooth curve, which as you can see, instead of those jagged lines where it's really pre precision based with the Smart EQ, I can kind of, you know, uh, smooth it out to make it a little bit more gradual of a change between them. And I can even get it pretty flat right there too. So let's go ahead and see what that sounds like.
And there we go. I mean, that's what we set out to do. And more or less, besides our disagreement or my disagreement with the Smart IQ about the higher end of the spectrum right there, which even uh, to be fair, I kind of boosted it a little bit too much. I might bring it down a little bit. But the Smart IQ did a really great job of making some elements pop more. They make the, you know, the guitar, for example, and that piano stand out more amongst the rest of the mix than before when it was the Smart IQ wasn't applied. This is a really great tool for people who are audio restoration type people, or maybe you're a mastering engineer that gets poorly mixed tracks and you're just looking for a quick fix to some of the mistakes. And, you know, when you can't get back into the stems and mix things properly, this tool will really help you focus in on stuff and might actually find things that maybe you didn't even know about in terms of what frequency range should be boosted or attenuated and things of that nature. It's a really great idea. I'm seeing a lot more of this kind of automated algorithmic problem solving coming out these days and I'm all for it to be honest. But anyway, I hope you learned something. That's the Smart EQ by Sonable. We'll see you next time. <laughs>